I'm taking a little break today from my usual routine of working on uh, upgrading uh, the Blocks X2 uh, from Marshmallow to Nugget, and I want to uh, address a couple of questions that people have asked um, in a video series about how to make your own custom ROM. And I thought this was a really interesting uh, request, a really interesting idea, and I'd like to uh, I'd like to do a few videos on it to just show like the general idea of how a person would go about doing something like this. And we're gonna we're gonna work on it together and and make a few small changes. So when it comes to making your own uh, custom ROM, what I mean isn't just building lineage for your phone or building slim roms for your phone or whatever the case may be what I what I specifically mean is actually making your very own brand of custom rom so uh, we're gonna make a new custom rom we're gonna call it the useless custom rom uh, because it, it will be pretty useless to anyone except for us and our purposes of uh, of training here so the first thing that you have to decide when you're going to build your own custom ROM is what do you want to base it off of? You know, we have Lineage and Slim ROMs, Paranoid Android and Resurrection Remix and all of these different ROMs. You know, and if you actually click on this uh, link here, it's just talking about the biggest names in custom ROMs, um, you know, right now. And, you know, of course, uh, Lineage is pretty big and uh, you know some screenshots there slim roms which is also another huge one um, and you know they each have their own features you know slim recent slim pie uh, you know paranoid android and and you know it's hover mode and uh, resurrection remix and uh, you know resurrection remix for instance uses AOSP lineage OS slim roms and paranoid android all together kinda mixed up into one Dirty Unicorn with its uh, fling bar and you know just all these different uh, different types of uh, ROMs out there. So the question is, uh, what should you choose as a base? And it's really up to you. What do you really like? Um, if you're looking to do something completely new uh, and you don't want a whole lot of other intervention already then you should probably work with the Android open source project the actual just the baseline code that'll give you the most vanilla canvas to work with and uh, the great thing about vanilla is whatever flavoring you add to it will uh, you know will help that ice cream uh, you know be be like that so um, you know, if you if you throw in some cherries, it's it's no longer vanilla. It's now like a cherry ice cream or whatever the case may be. So um, if you want to do something like that, I'd recommend going with AOSP. Uh, if you really like a particular ROM but you want to see some serious changes done to it, uh, then you could uh, do one of those. Like if you really like slim ROMs and and you just want to add some more features, like maybe you want like a slim Omni ROM, you know, so you're gonna take slim roms and mix in omni rom with it uh... whatever the case may be you just need to pick somewhere to start and for our purposes we're going to uh... we're going to work with lineage os as our base for our rom platform and the reason i chose this one was uh... twofold for one uh... it supports over hundred ninety devices as they mentioned here uh... officially and pretty much it's the go-to when you're building a first ROM for something. This is usually the most supported uh, Android uh, ROM variant as far as getting the files, folders, and stuff that you need. So pretty handy, and they haven't uh, um, put in a whole bunch of things. They've they've kind of added uh, a few little perks here and there, but they haven't uh, changed a whole lot from a AOSP so I uh, think it's really good for our purposes here so once you pick what you're going to use as a base uh, the next thing you gotta do is find its platform manifest so here we are on uh, github and of course I'm logged in and we're going to find the manifest and in this case they they call it Android 
and we see we have the manifest here um, for everything. So uh, then, of course, you know it would matter what particular branch you're working on and what you want to do. But the first thing that I would recommend, you find that base, you take it, and you're going to fork that branch to yourself. So that way now you have something that you can edit and work on on your own. So this is just going to take a second here for it to fork. And there we go. Now I have this Alaska Linux user Android and we are going to jump over to settings real quick and we are going to rename this uh, repository to um, uh, useless ROM platform manifest. Uh, we could have just called it Android as well. Use the song Android. That would be fine. Whatever the case may be. And we'll just rename that. So here we got useless ROM Android. Uh, we can edit some description here so people know what it is. Uh, a useless ROM for testing purposes. We'll say testing and learning purposes. And of course, you know, if you had a website for it, you could throw that in there as well. So now we have something to actually work with. And now we can start uh, doing our own things and making changes. And that's really where the fun begins.